speaker, <laughs> not, not for the bodyguard. Not for your host. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the uh, Supreme Court decision. The Supreme Court decision says everything is on hold until a new administrative regulatory order is promulgated. Yes? That administrative uh, circular is already in effect. Yes? So, so therefore, uh, the government, which is in charge of regulation, has already complied, in my layman's view, uh, with the Supreme Court decision by having the new uh, circular. Uh, whatever the subsequent moves of the uh, of court would be uh, in respect to the pending uh, appeals or motions for reconsideration, uh, will not reverse the fact that a new regulation is already in place and, and therefore we will have to uh, 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 work with the new regulations which is, uh, I think is a reasonable way forward uh, and see how that will allow us to continue not just with eggplant but with any, <coughs> with any other uh, biotech products as well. So the order for the day is to make sure that we we help in testing the regulation uh, in terms of uh, operationalizing how it would, would uh, uh, work and uh, help where we can government in refining it, refining not the actual regulation but the practice of it, and uh, so that we can continue to benefit from uh, from new technologies. Not just for eggplant, but even imported products that uh, uh, benefit our lives every day. You know, uh, so we have complied with the Supreme Court, as, as far as uh, I can see. Even if there are pending motions for reconsideration, we have already uh, jumped the gun by complying. Government, I mean. Now, Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs> the fruit should, I know, uh, Boy.